Yes, family, this is part of what is known as the beautiful airport city. And behind this airport city is the airport itself. But this is a beautiful view. Windows up, that way we can uh, make sure that we have less feedback noise. So airport city, uh, and this is from the, uh, the main road here that's heading to uh, East Lagoon. That's, uh, what do you call this road out here, Gigi? This road right here. This, 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 this road right here, the street going straight up. This old road is airport. So, so that was uh, this airport city, but um, if we drove back closer to the airport, you'll see the, the full part of the airport city. And one of these days, I'm just gonna <laughs> get out and just walk around the entire airport city and do some fresh, fresh uh, filming. But for now, that was just a drive-by view. Uh, so on this uh, main road that's uh, take you along the airport, uh, we're gonna pass by Accra Mall, and then we're gonna, from there on, uh, once you you know drive past the uh, motorway, uh, it's gonna take you into East Lagoon. Yes, family. So we are you know, leaving them. We have left the main part of Accra, and we're just cruising along here to where we're about to pass by, you know, the Accra Mall, and drive onto the motorway onto East Lagoon. So this is a beautiful green area. Right. So this is a busy, busy little area. But that is the Accra shopping mall area. And now we're under the motorway and this is a beautiful art. And throughout my time here in Ghana, I've walked around all this area. And these are some nice high rises. And this is all in uh, East Lagoon, and this is literally when you first get into the neighborhood. And this is one of the uh, dealerships right here. And one thing I love about this neighborhood is all the beautiful aspects of this uh, civilization. It's just a vibrant, energetic area. And that's why we make sure that uh, you know, whenever we uh, you know, come to Ghana, you know, we either gonna stay at uh, the Micklin Hotel or MJ Grand, and those are the two most popular hotels that we have stayed at over the period of the last uh, 12 years. And we did have one hotel called Eastgate that we stayed at just once, and that was the first time we came here, but unfortunately that hotel is very small, and usually we have big groups. stay back uh, for a short period of time to handle some business here in Accra and you know we was able to get some nice comfortable lodging at Micklin Hotel which is you know a hotel we have a great relationship but our, our, our group members you know for four days in Accra you know we all stayed at MJ Grand that was more ideal for our group at that moment but uh, there's certain advantages of me staying at Micklin Hotel now the balcony on the third floor, I get a lot of my work done, my meetings, my social connections, and things like that. So that was the situation. So I was able to stay at both places uh, this time around. And when you travel with us uh, for the uh, four-day tour in Accra, you'll be uh, more than likely uh, staying at MJ Grand. It's a better presentation for us. But once Micklin does their upgrades and things like that, uh, which I'll you know, share another video of what's going on at Micklin Hotel, since people have known us for, to stay at Micklin Hotel over the period of time. Uh, and uh, MJ Grand has been a place that we have stayed at uh, three occasions, 2011, 2016, and uh, 2023. Uh, 
but this is the neighborhood I've seen this neighborhood transformed so this is the other side of it and you're coming up on so that's Malcolm right there and straight ahead that building right there So yes, Mr. Bomani, we are here, son. We are here, incognito, Mr. Bomani Dakari. Always laying low. You know, back from your summer vacation from Elmina. And uh, we're about to pull in. Pull on in, my brother. We're going to pull on in. And we're going to close out family. And we're going to get ourselves settled. So we can get some lunch together. And then we're going to start uh, packing our bags so we can uh, just get ready for the airport and make that great mighty move and get ourselves set back up and established so we can start planning our other ventures so it's been great in ghana and you know you know we never stop recording so we have more footage to show you so family the journey continues <coughs> This is the classic Africa for the Africans. That's how we represent family. So keep it strong. <laughs> 